Want to blend two images seamlessly? Merge a character into a background, swap outfits, or insert objects, all in one workflow. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to run Quen Multi Image Edit in Comfy UI. All right, before we touch anything in Comfy UI, we need to prep our environment. First, make sure Comfy UI is installed and working. You can do this either locally or on RunPod. Next, update your Comfy UI to the latest version. That's important because this workflow depends on having access to the newest nodes. If you're on Windows, just run the update script inside the update folder. It's called updatecomfyui.bat and it takes care of everything for you. If you're using RunPod, open your VS Code terminal and type this command. This will pull the latest changes from GitHub and update all the required Python packages. Doing this regularly ensures you have the newest features, nodes, and important bug fixes to keep everything running smoothly. Now, download the model files you'll need. You'll be grabbing a few safe tensors files from Hugging Face and dropping them into the correct comfy UI folders. There are four in total, one for Diffusion, one VAE, a text encoder, and the Lightning LoRa. Just make sure they go into the proper subfolders inside the model's directory. This step is crucial. If even one file is misplaced, the workflow won't work properly. Once you've got all your files in place, it's time to load the actual workflow. Download the JSON file for Quen Multi Image Edit and open Comfy UI. Drag and drop the JSON file right onto the canvas. Instantly, you'll see all the pre-configured nodes appear. You might see some red nodes showing up. That just means you're missing some custom nodes. Luckily, it's super easy to fix. Click the manager button in the top right, then choose install missing custom nodes. Comfy will show you a list of what's missing. Just click install next to each one. It usually only takes a few seconds. Once everything is installed, restart Comfy UI, then reload your workflow and those red boxes should be gone. Now let's walk through your first multi-image edit. This is where the fun begins. Before anything else, make sure each of the model loader nodes is actually pointing to the correct files. In the load diffusion model node, select the Quen image edit model. In the VAE loader, choose the Quen VAE. In the load clip node, pick the Quen encoder. And finally, in the LoRa loader, select the lightning LoRa file. Once all of these are set, you're ready to start editing. But before we do that, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, FanView. FanView is a platform built for creators who want to monetize in new ways. And right now, one of the fastest growing trends is AI influencers. Yes, creators are already earning a serious income by building and running AI-driven accounts. To make it easy to get started, FanView has launched a free Creator Academy course. It gives you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up your own AI influencer and shows how people are turning their skills into a side hustle with some earning thousands every month. If you're curious about making money with AI or just want to see how this space works, check out the free course. I'll leave the link down below. It's definitely worth a look. All right, now let's jump back in. Next, bring in your source images, one for your subject and one for the background or extra element you want to combine. Drop them into the load image nodes, then the image stitch node will line them up side by side. That way the model knows how to blend them together. Before running the workflow, you'll also want to set your output resolution. A good starting point is to set the Flux Resolution Calc node to 1 megapixel at a 1 to 1 ratio. That will give you a clean 1024 by 1024 image. Now, it's time for the prompts. In the positive prompt box, describe exactly how you want the images to merge. Be clear about things like lighting, pose, and environment. In the negative prompt, tell the model what you don't want. When you hit run, the workflow will generate your result. With the Lightning LoRa, you only need a few sampling steps to get sharp, fast results. Once it's done, the image will be decoded and saved automatically in your Comfy UI output folder. If the result isn't what you were hoping for, don't worry. Try adjusting your prompt or randomizing the seed to explore different variations. Small tweaks can make a big difference, so experiment until you land on the look you want. Now let's see what's actually possible with multi-image editing by looking at some examples. 
In the first example, we start with a simple photo of a model and a completely separate image of a sports bag. The model isn't posing with the bag at all, but when we combine the two and prompt it with something like, she is crouching in a gym, flexing her arm with a sports bag placed naturally between her legs. Under studio lighting with soft shadows, the final image looks like she was actually photographed with that bag. This is powerful because you don't need the original pose to match. The model figures it out. For the second example, we've got one photo of the model and another of a branded background with the word Vogue on the wall. By merging them, you can prompt, she is standing in front of the Vogue background, hand in her hair, lighting consistent with the background image. The final result is clean and polished, like a professional magazine shot. Next, let's try an outfit swap. We start with the same model photo, then use a reference photo of a lingerie set. When merged together with a prompt like, she is sitting in a classy white room, surprised expression, wearing the same lingerie from the reference image. The workflow changes the outfit while keeping everything else consistent. And finally, here's one for small business owners. Instead of using plain supplier photos on a white background, you can drop that same product into a lifestyle scene, like a kitchen, a bedroom, or even outdoors. For example, take a simple product photo of a water bottle and blend it with an image of a hiking trail. Prompt it to sit naturally on a rock with outdoor sunlight and shadows, and suddenly you've got a professional looking lifestyle shot without hiring a photographer. As you can see, once you understand the process, you can apply it to all kinds of scenarios, from creative fashion edits to practical business uses. The key is always giving the model two good inputs and then being very clear in your prompt about how you want them to merge. And that's it. You're ready to start creating with Quen Multi Image Edit in Comfy UI. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider giving it a like and subscribing for more Comfy UI tips and workflows. And let me know in the comments what kind of edits you're planning to try. I'd love to hear your ideas.